Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob with Clicks Geek. So if you're new here, I'm going to go through a topic that's a little different, right? It's just straight up how to run Google ads. What does it look like in 2024? Pretty much the tail end of 2024 creating a Google ads campaign. What do they look like? How do they work? What's the structure like? I'm going to walk you through a live campaign that we have running for a client right now and show you everything, the campaign hierarchy, the structure, the keywords, the ads, all the really cool stuff that you need to know if you want to successfully run Google ads in 2024 to generate leads for your business. Now, this is not e-commerce, guys. This is straight up lead generation, right? We're generating leads for local service-based businesses. That's what this campaign video is about. So strap in. It's going to be a long one, guys, but I'm going to show you some really, really cool stuff. Let's hop over to my screen. Okay, so what you're looking at is inside a client's Google ads dashboard, right? So this, I know, don't get overwhelmed. It's it's very easy once you understand how everything works. So what you're looking at is where the campaigns are built, where they're housed, and all the different things that you have to know. So the first things first, in this video, I'm not going to go through the dashboard. I have another video on our channel for that. You can just search Google ads dashboard and I'll, I'll walk you through each tab and what they all do and what it means and all that. In this video, I'm just going to show you a campaign, how it's structured and how they run. Okay. So first things first, this is a client who does, uh, he buys junk cars, right? So it's cash for junk cars. So what we're looking at right now is the campaign level. So that is level one. We have the campaign. And here's all the stats for the campaign. You have his his daily budget. And don't get scared by that. He's a big client. You don't need that to run Google Ads. You know, you can do $50 a day, Monday through Friday is fine for most niches. You have all of your important campaign metrics like clicks, right? That's how many clicks came to your ads from someone searched Google, saw your ad and clicked on it. Impressions, how many times your ad was shown. Click-through rate, the percentage at which somebody clicks your ad when they see it, right? 19% obviously is really a unicorn status click through rate. You want to be over five. Five is the actually 4% is the average. Five or above, you're doing decently well. Here's the average cost per click. So that's the average click cost in Google for my client for his keywords and their location. It's the total cost for the month. Search impression share, a super important metric. Search impression share, it says right here is the impressions you received on Google search sites divided by the estimated number of impressions you were eligible to receive, right? So essentially, what's that mean? He has a 75% search impression share, which means every time someone searched his keywords overall as a group, his ads triggered and showed 75% of the time. So the reason he's not at 100% is because most likely he needs more budget to show the 100% of the time. It's kind of unrealistic to show 100% of the time, but 75% or above, you're, you're really you're doing really, really well. Conversions. This is the number of leads that the campaign generated, right? And this is a mixture of phone calls and contact form leads from the landing page that we have set up. Cost per conversion. This is what it costs for each conversion that we generated. So right now it's $28 per lead for him. Conversion rate, this is the rate at which we're converting leads from the traffic. So 52%, which is amazing. So basically every 100 clicks that we send our landing page funnel, we're getting 52 leads out of it. All right, anything 20% or above is what you should shoot for. And 52% uh, is super unrealistic. All this just because this campaign is so dialed in and we've been doing this for so long that we can get conversion rates like this. So don't beat yourself up if you're just starting out. Aim for 20% first. 20% is a benchmark number that you'll do really well. I think the industry average is like 14% or something like that. It's terrible. All right. Bid strategy type. So maximize conversions, target CPA is what we're using. So a lot of these stuff, you guys aren't going to know what's going on, right? And it's just not, there's too much for this one video. So if you want to know more about like, you know, what are the, all the bidding strategies, um, what do all these metrics mean? Go to our channel, ClicksGeek. You can search videos in the search bar and just start start searching Google ads. And you'll see a ton of titles that we have tons of how-to videos and all kinds of cool stuff like that that will walk you through. So in this video, I'm just showing you a campaign and how what it's structured, what the structure's like and how you can do this yourself. So you have your main campaign level here. You click that, you'll go into what's called ad groups. So these are another level where you have a bunch of different ad groups and they're just grouped keywords. So inside each one of these 
is a group of keywords that are all similar. So that's the key here is relevancy within your ad groups. So for instance, if I go into cash for junk cars, the keywords, now these are keywords, the keywords should all be about cash for scrap cars, cash for junk cars, a very tightly themed ad group should have tightly themed keywords. Scrap my car for cash. So you can see, and you want to have about anywhere from 10 to 50 keywords per ad group. You just have to make sure that they are extremely relevant to each other. So for an example, if I went back, if I have my ad group here, cash for junk cars, I would not have keywords about selling a wrecked car in my cash for junk cars ad group. That doesn't make sense. That's not tightly themed. Right, so that's why I would break that off the sell wreck car into its own ad group, and I would talk, and I would only have keywords in here about selling a wrecked car. Really, really important, guys. Now, there's another level to this. So let's take the first one uh, ad group for example. Right, cash for junk cars at the ad group level. So we have campaign, ad group, keywords, then ads. Right, so we have our ad group here, cash for junk cars. We have our keywords. They talk all about cash for junk cars. Now inside this ad group and this, these keywords, we have our ads. These are our ads for this ad group. Now each ad group should have ads that talk about the keywords in the ad group, right? So obviously these ads will talk about cash, getting a cash offer for your junk car. If they, if I, if the ad group was for, you know, selling a wrecked car in the ads, I would talk about selling a wrecked car. We buy wrecked cars, sell your wrecked car to us. Now, if we go into one of the ads, I'll break it down even further. So we have our ad group, cash for junk cars. We have all of our keywords for cash for junk cars. And now we're in the ad for it. And you can see over here what the ad looks like. Now you have your display path, which is just essentially an extra extension where you can work keywords into and you should work keywords into. You come down here, you have 15 headline options. You need to fill out all 15. Very important. All right. Now you want to work keywords into each headline, but not keyword stuff. You don't just want to just put a keyword for each one. You want to have benefits. You want to have call to actions. You want to make your ad clickable. Put yourself in the consumer's shoes when they're searching Google. Right, someone's searching Google for cash for junk car keywords, right? Like this, like this ad is. What do they want to see? How can we entice them to click our ad? They obviously have a junk car they want to sell. They obviously want cash for it. So we're going to speak to that. We're going to push those pressure points in our ad copy, right? We buy junk cars. Sell your junk car fast. Same day cash for cars. Must have title, right? We don't buy cars that don't have title. Any make, model, or condition. Damage or not running is okay, right? See what we're doing here? Even vehicles missing parts. Call for an instant cash offer. We pick up your car for free. Benefits, guys. We're listing benefits and we're working in keywords into the ads, which is why you have an ad strength of excellent, right? And it gives you advice on how to make your ad strength excellent. And each one you want to have excellent. And that's because we're talking about and using the keywords that we're going after in the cash for junk cars ad group. And we're working them into the ads. And this is only going to give you a better quality score, which is essentially just Google's ranking system for your, your ad groups and your keywords of how relevant they all are. So that's why it's important to have a higher quality score because you're going to pay less per click in Google, the higher quality score you have. And you get a higher quality score by having extremely relevant ad groups with extremely relevant keywords, with extremely relevant ads. Very, very important, guys, okay? This is the basics of a Google Ads campaign and how to run them. So if we come down here, we'll finish up our 15 headlines. We pay top dollar for junk vehicles, get an instant online offer. Then we come down here, you have four description options. Again, fill out all four. I cannot stress this enough. Everyone does a half-assed job. They'll do two of them and that's it. And make sure all four are unique. Do not do the same one over and over again. Remember, you want to talk to the prospect who's searching Google. I cannot stress this enough. It's extremely important. So you want to have your, your different descriptions here. And then you want to come down here. You have images, right? You can attach images to your ads. Super important. It gives you a really high click-through rate. Now, we're not running them this campaign because the client didn't provide us them. But 
If you're building this campaign for yourself or for your client, get original images. They have to be original images. You cannot use stock photos here. It will tank. I'm telling you right now, it won't work. So if you can get original images, so if I had images saved for my client, this cash for junk cars guy, um, of him picking up a car or making an offer or just a bunch of junk vehicles that he's bought, I would add those to each ad I'm running. Really, really important. So you can add images there. Then you can have your business name and your logos. I would do all of that too. This client, we don't have access to that, so he didn't want to do that. But add your business name, add your logo. It's only going to make your ads way more credible, and they're going to get a higher click-through rate, which is extremely important. So four, descri four descriptions, 15 ad headlines. You want to fill all of those out. Now, you might be wondering, all right, well, how many ad groups do I have to run here? And that really depends on your niche and what your campaign is. So if you go back to the ad group level, so now let's just walk through it one more time. I'm going to hold your hand like you're five years old and walk you through exactly how a campaign is structured. We have the campaign. Under the campaign, we have all the ad groups. In each ad group, we have the keywords. In there, there are the ads. So we have ad group. And then the ad group has keywords and ads in it, each one. Now you want to speak specifically to, I'm repeating myself, but it's so, this is why it's so important when everyone gets wrong with Google ads. You want to have ads that speak to the keywords in the ad group. So you don't want the same ads for every single ad group. You can get similar ads, that's fine, but you want to speak directly if you have something that's way different. So cash for junk cars, sell a wrecked car, or we buy wrecked cars. You want to talk about wrecked cars in those ads. Right, junk car removal. Let's we're gonna talk about we'll come pick up your junk car, we'll give you a cash offer for it, we'll remove it from you. Five hundred dollar cash for junk cars in the ad we're gonna talk about, we'll give you five hundred bucks. We'll come pick your car for five hundred bucks. Same with thousand dollars. Scrap car buyers, we're gonna talk about how we buy scrap cars. We will come out, we'll give you an offer, and we'll tow away your scrap car. So really important that you're breaking it down and getting granular like that. Now, again, guys, this is a high level video. Um, I'm not, I'm, you're looking at 40,000 foot view of a campaign here. I just kind of wanted to walk you through the structure on how they work. Um, but that's the basics of Google ads. And it's very, very easy once you understand a little more. So go to the Clicks Geek channel, start watching our how-to videos. I have a dozen videos on how to build a campaign. So you can watch those and this might make a little more sense then if you, after you watch one of those. But this is the 40,000 foot view of how Google ads works and how to do Google ads for your business. And um, it's just all about having the right ad groups with the right keywords and the right ads. Now, there is another component to this as well, which is your landing page. So you want to have a landing page that is designed to turn this traffic into leads. All right, because there's, there's some things here you need to understand. So when it comes to each ad group, you have your keyword inside the ad group. There's different, something called keyword match types. Now, they're essentially just different qualifiers you can put on a keyword to make it either really broad or really narrowed down. So you have broad match, which is right. I'll put in a, let's see here, cash for junk cars. So if I went into cash for junk cars, you'll see here, we're running exact and phrase match only. Exact has brackets, phrase has quotes. Broad would just be nothing. Broad will bring in a wide array of traffic that Google thinks is relevant, but most of the time it is not. You want to stay away from broad match. You want to only run exact and phrase match keywords. And you want to make sure they're high intent, right? So we're not going to put, you know, junk car as a keyword. That's a bad keyword. That's not high intent. What does that mean? Why would someone just type in junk car? We want to be as precise and high intent as possible. Cash for junk cars. Scrap my car for cash today. Cash for scrap cars. See what we're doing here? These are high intent. So we know the intent on why someone is typing that into Google. Okay, so you want to be very intentional and specific with the keywords you choose. And you want to have the right match types. So if you're new to this, exact and phrase match is where you should stick. All right, keep anywhere from 10 to 20 keywords per ad group. You can have as many ad groups as you want. Just make sure they're tightly themed like we talked about and make sure your ads are talking and using the keywords in the ads. And your ads are have call to actions in them. They have benefits. They're not just keyword stuffed. You do that and you send it to a landing page or a website that is designed to turn traffic into leads and you'll have a great campaign. So one more thing I want to touch on before I let you go and let you go search the Clicks Geek channel 
and find all the gold <laughs> is a uh, message match. Now, what is that? So meshes match essentially is something that you have to get right with Google ads campaigns. So how does that work? So from the keyword, someone types in the Google cash for junk cars, they're going to see an ad. Our ad is going to talk about the keyword, right? Obviously cash for junk cars. They typed it in. Oh, they're going to see our ad about we buy cars for cash. They're going to go to, a, they're going to click our ad, go to a landing page that talks about how we pay cash for junk cars. We can be there today. We'll pick it up. Give you cash on hand. So it's a message match straight across. We're not we're not deetering from that. All right. That's really, really important. If you get that wrong in one of those steps and there's a message mismatch, your campaign's not gonna work. All right, and a lot more goes into setting these campaigns up, like you have to set up conversion tracking. Again, go to the Clicks Geek channel. I'm gonna give you some homework. Go to the Clicks Geek channel. Number one, watch how we build a campaign A to Z. There's like a dozen videos on that from start to finish. I walk through building a campaign. Number two, I want you to go watch our keyword videos on the keyword match types. And number three, I want you to watch the conversion tracking setup videos. You will have a well, more well-rounded understanding of how these campaigns run, how they're built and all that after you watch those. So this is a higher level. And if you guys have any questions about how to get these campaigns set up quickly for yourself, drop them in the comment section below. If you have questions about ads or keywords or ad groups or anything like that, drop them in the comment section below. I will hop in and answer everything I can for you guys. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.